What's going on guys, the Steeler here back again with yet another video talking about some Fallout 4 Not really, I'm talking about some Rise of the Tomb Raider here recently A developer went all in detail about the Xbox One X And there are some extremely interesting quotes here now, of course, usually I would try to use associated gameplay with the topic at hand, but I like to live on the edge. So, as I mentioned before, the developer had several interesting things to say about Rise of the Tomb Raider on Xbox One X, and I'm going to get to the most interesting quote towards the end of the video, but regarding the 60 frames per second mode, which is really the mode I'm going to play the game in, he does say that 90% or more of the game does run at a locked 60 frames per second, which if you remember, if you recall, that is much better than any other console version. There were quite a few drops before, which really leads to that DX12 command processor at work. As I told you guys before, technology like that is aimed to make frame rates more stable, more consistent, and they are definitely using it in this iteration of Rise of the Tomb Raider. So he does actually confirm that that frame rate is actually locked most of the time on the Xbox One X version. But the most interesting quote is that of the 4K rendering. And before I get to this part of the video, it must be said, the developer also confirms that Rise of the Tomb Raider, every little bit of gameplay that's been seen up till now on the Xbox One X, up until November 7th, is pre-release alpha code not indicative of the final product. So those making fun of a few lost frames in an uncontrollable water sequence, or 0.7 of a frame drop, I've seen people make fun of this, absolutely unacceptable these games are not done same for halo wars 2 same for quantum break don't be a fool hold your tongue think about things before you bash on stuff there's a reason we don't really do that kind of stuff here on this channel it really doesn't make any sense to compare unreleased uh <laughs> alpha code especially when the developer is confirming so uh and saying it's indicative of a final product that's just stupid Many rants aside, when essentially asked to compare the differences between this version, the Xbox One X, and other platforms, the developer goes on to say, the difference is, this is the first time we were able to deliver a native 4K signal. For this reason, it is the highest fidelity version of Tomb Raider we have ever put out. Now, I'm sure there are those that will try to push the narrative that, oh, this developer's only talking about the console versions of the game, right? But it's important to remember that this studio also did the PC version, and I can hear it now, plenty of people upset in the comments. Oh my god, he said it was better than, than the PC version! Ugh. You know, it's really not a huge deal. Generally, when you see a quote like this, um, there's probably another side to the coin, another side not being represented, and of course, we don't know everything about how they rendered the game in 4K on the PC. But what we do know is that Rise of the Tomb Raider on Xbox One X is going to be by far the best way to play the game on console this November 7th, with three different rendering modes, a native 4K, a checkerboard 4K at what is essentially ultra settings, a 60 frames per second option, and it's also important to remember that those 4K textures, those 4K assets, are shared among all three modes in the game. So there is no picking and choosing there, you get those assets in all the modes, which is another great benefit. Me, as a console gamer, I'm looking forward to checking this out on November 7th. Let me know what you guys think down below. Be sure and check out my last video, especially the patrons. Really appreciate the support, guys. Hit that like button. I'm Dealer. I'm out.